What if I told you that one of the most popular healthy fruits might actually be spiking your blood sugar? Yes, I am talking about strawberries. That small red juicy berry that looks so innocent might not be safe. I am a practicing endocrinologist with many years of experience. Today, I will show you how something that looks healthy could be slowing your recovery. And by the end of this video, you will find out what to eat instead. And it might already be in your refrigerator. Strawberries are low in calories, but that does not mean they are harmless. 0.7 grams of protein, 0.3 grams of fat. Now comes the most important part, carbohydrates. Total carbohydrates, 7.7 grams, including 2 grams of fiber, 5.7 grams of sugars, including 2.4 grams of glucose, 2.3 grams of fructose, 1 gram of sucrose. After digestion, sucrose breaks down into glucose and fructose. But here is the key. People do not eat just 100 grams. A typical portion is around 200 to 250 grams, meaning you might be consuming up to 12 grams of simple sugars in a single snack. Have you been told that strawberries are safe for diabetes? Forget that. The glucose in strawberries raises your blood sugar instantly. The fructose is converted into fat in your liver. This leads to higher levels of triglycerides and LDL cholesterol. It worsens insulin resistance. It increases the risk of fatty liver and cardiovascular complications. You think it's just fruit? But here's what that extra sugar actually does. Increases the risk of stroke, heart attack, and amputations. Even one bowl of strawberries can add up, especially when your body is still struggling with insulin resistance. You do not need to give up freshness and flavor, and you do not need to go shopping. Here is what you likely already have at home. These foods do not just avoid raising sugar. They help your body regain insulin sensitivity. Strawberries are not the enemy, but they are also not your ally if your diabetes is not yet in remission. If your goal is true recovery, even healthy looking fruits can hold you back. To change this, take two key steps every day. Follow a structured, low glycemic diet. Perform cardio exercise. With time, patience, and consistency, you will achieve remission. To learn the truth about other foods and how they affect your blood sugar, watch the next videos on my channel.